I'm here to talk about the biaxial machine, what we call the biaxial machine. So the biaxial machine has uh, a set of jaws in two dimensions which holds a plate-like sample. And then we impact it with, you can see the pointy bit on the other side, we impact it with that in the third direction. We can hit it once or we can hit it with a series of cyclic um, impacts. And the sort of things we might test, you imagine the, the uh, sheet of, um, say, stone on the outside of a building and imagine it's going to be impacted by something. We can simulate that in this machine. We put a sample of that material in the machine, we impact it, we can tell what sort of, what sort of effect that impact might have. We can also test things like car bodies or we can test aeroplane aer fuselages. Well, let's imagine we're on the moon or on, on Mars. We could test the impact of asteroids on similar sorts of plates of material. It's important to know how these materials behave under impact. Imagine you're in a tunnel and the tunnel lining gets impacted by a car or a truck. What impact will that have on the stability of the tunnel? Will it impact it at all? So those the sort of things that we really need to know. This is part of a facility that is a, a, a joint venture or a partnership between a number of universities of which the University of Queensland is the lead. And in addition we have um, potential participating industry partners in the future. So quite a number of industry groups have expressed interest in testing using this machine. They'll test a range of materials. So it could be applied to mining, it could be applied to civil in infrastructure, a whole range of different things. This is essentially a unique piece of equipment in, in Australia. It's not, not available. To our knowledge, we don't know anywhere else in the world that has exactly this sort of machinery. So machinery such as the true triaxial and the biaxial are very valuable in terms of providing us an opportunity to, to get more certain about our judgment, providing input that improves that judgment. Judgment's still important, but the more data you have, the better judgment you can, you can exercise, the safer the designs, the better the success that we can achieve in industry. After all, the earth is very uncertain. You know, it's not like a manufactured piece of material, like a, a piece of steel or a piece of concrete, which we can manufacture to tight specifications. The earth is what, what it is, what it gives you. We have to work with it. So we, we need that greater certainty through machines like this to give us um, the ammunition to make better judgments.